I know the self-improvement people expect this to be a video where I just say It's life everybody because life is a video game and you can level up your skills and gain experience points But that's actually not what I'm going to say The most fun types of video games in existence have always and will always be simulation games Wanna start a bakery in real life but it's just too much effort Play a baking simulator Wanna go to war without the risk of death Play a war simulator Literally just want to have an interesting life but you're just too damn lazy to get up off your ass and make your actual life interesting? <gasps> Play The Sims 4. Unfortunately, that game is woke now. Rest in peace, non-political Sims 4 from a few years ago. You will be missed by... Literally just me. I don't think anyone else actually noticed. But that's not the point. Video games are basically just a risk crazy version of doing something you want to do in real life, but are too scared to. I remember being a child and wanted to be a famous YouTuber as basically all young children want to be nowadays. And I remember downloading a YouTube simulator app on my phone. Why? Because that's what I wanted to experience in real life! But unfortunately, I had, at that point in my life, not yet joined the real world university. This is not an ad, by the way. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I just really like the product. Anyways, I did actually make videos for a while, but eventually I just kinda quit. Now I am not a quitter, but I was back then. Don't try to find those old videos by the way, they've just been put on private. Maybe I'll react to them on this channel someday, but anyways. The most fun games, undeniably, are simulation games. But the problem with simulation games is that the feeling they're trying to capture will never be more than 5% as fun as if you were to do it in real life. Now, the suffering required to be successful in the game will also never be more than 5% as stressful as it would be in real life. But there's no such thing as wins without losses anyway. Me? I'd rather suffer but live a meaningful life in reality than feel a little bit stressed and a little bit of achievement in some game. And I do sometimes go back to old games I used to play, most of them are simulators. I do so and I realized that I was so drawn to them as a kid because it's basically just a less difficult but also less fun version of the things I want to experience in real life. Now of course some things are better off staying as game experiences, but when it comes to your dreams, never settle for some game. As a kid I wanted to do YouTube, so I would play YouTuber Simulator because doing it in real life was too difficult. Now, I just do it in real life. I used to play The Sims and get my characters to adopt pets. Hell, I used to play pet owner simulators and pet store simulators because I've always wanted a dog in real life, but it just never really happened. I did get a Chip the Robot dog for my ninth birthday though. Meet Chip. Chip is a robotic dog. Any of you guys remember those? Because uh, I remember seeing ads for Chip by Wowie literally multiple times a day. I'm just thinking, damn, I want that. So I asked my mom to buy it for my birthday. That was actually quite fun. But anyways, that's not the point. What the hell ever happened to Wowie anyways? I swear, I haven't heard of that company in years. And they used to be everywhere. I couldn't escape them. I bought the MIP robot as well. I actually bought quite a few robots from that company. I wonder if they're still selling chip dogs. But yeah, the funnest video games are simulation games, and I know, I know, nuance. Not everything can be replicated in real life, sure. Don't go commenting about committing war rhymes IRL and stuff and I don't know, whatever. I don't know why you'd want to do that in a video game anyways, but you do you, I guess. This is HFR. Stay awesome. See if you can recognize any dreams you might have in the games you play. Maybe, just maybe, swap out that hour of playing. Musician Simulator number 8 for some singing lessons. Don't stop believing. Stay a dreamer. I know I am. Of course, don't be the type of dreamer who only dreams and doesn't work, of course. You've still gotta do the work or else you'll just do nothing all day and you won't ever be able to epically mug anyone. But what do I know, eh? Well, what I do know is that you're just an incomplete. You're just a knucklehead. You're just a... Lumox? Lumox? I have never heard of that word before. <laughs> Don't be such a numpty. Stop acting like a silly goose. <laughs> what the hell am I even doing? Not gonna lie, the video script was too short, so I'm kind of just stalling because I don't want my videos to be too short. Uh, ah, screw it. Oh, you guys should go check out Lord Hurons, a live from Whispering Fire series. It's so cool. 
Not entirely sure how to describe it, but it's one of the most awesome projects I've seen in a while. And, uh... You... Should... Stay... How long is the video right now? How long is this video? Oh.